and welcome back to Cooking with Sarah. Now last week I had mentioned that I was planning on doing an episode in the new New World mod pack and then I had gone to do that and the New World mod pack had disappeared off the FTB launcher. Well guess what? It's back. And that is what we are in right now. This is actually my survival house. <laughs> um, I, full disclosure, I did do about Oh, 10% of it in creative because I was uh, doing it on stream to set up for today's episode. And I had to go out and do some shopping. And long story short, I got um, a little pressed for time and just t t did a bunch of aesthetic stuff in creative. So, But yeah, pretty much all of this is uh, legit. So let me get back into first person here and get my hot bar and stuff back. Okay. This episode is going to be a little bit less about cooking and a little more about furnishing your kitchen, which in the New World Mod Pack you have lots and lots and lots of options. You can build a stove that will take coal in here and put food in here, but it does not smelt your ores and stuff, so you will still have to you know, use your regular furnace for that. Excuse me. Here is a kitchen sink that behaves just like a water source of any other sort. You might remember this from, um, glad? Don't think so. Glass bottle, there we go. You might remember this from the New World playthrough I did back in the day. There we go. Back when New World was in 1.5. I'll just put that in the freezer. You have a fridge and a freezer, mainly cosmetic and storage. You have uh, cupboards there that you can use for storage. This is the Food Plus refrigerator and the coffee grinder. Now, I had an issue with this in uh, Attack of the Bee Team and a, kind of the same thing going on. The coffee grinder doesn't seem to work. Um, I've tried coal, I've tried various saplings, I've tried planks. I don't know what's the problem. So when I figure that out, I will certainly let you know. There's also in New World a little bobble with the worktop in Food Plus. When you go to make it, you remember it needs a knife, and a knife is an ingot and a stick. Well, guess what else is an ingot and a stick? A chisel. And of course, it's going to be way at the bottom of the list, isn't it? Yeah. Now, I did it this way, I did it that way, they both came up with a chisel. So what you're going to have to do um, is just cheat your knife in and delete your stick and delete your ingot and you'll be fine. Here we have the, of course, bibliocraft tables and chairs. The uh, microblock covers there. This is the trash can from Extra Utilities. The bibliocraft cookie jar, this is fun. Any item you put in there is going to look like a cookie. But the even, even better part is when you open the cookie jar, it emits a redstone signal. And we were playing with this on the stream. I had an uh, industrial alarm set up next to it, so you can actually wire the cookie jar up to set off an alarm. And so when your friends go to help themselves to your delicious cookies, they will. Uh, everybody will know it. This is the... Uh, the jammy furniture words grandfather clock and of course just as it was in 1.5 you have your little hidey hole that you can hide your stuff in but back to the kitchen there are some other appliances in Jamie's furniture mod that are kinda cool let me just um, there we go you have a washing machine which will actually repair your armor for you at the cost of some coal. Then you have your kitchen sinks, bathroom sinks, toilets, uh, radios that don't actually do anything, I don't think. Let's see. Let's just uh, plunk one down on the counter. No, nope, it, it doesn't do anything, but it looks cool. So we'll leave it there. So, that is our kitchen settled. But what about actual food? Well, let me go ahead and enable this waypoint here. Another cool mod that New World has is Millinaire, which will take your villages and turn them into cool little civilizations. So I found a Mayan village over this way. Let me, uh, I'm going to head on over there and I will meet you there. 
And here we are. Looks like they've been doing a little bit of a little bit of building over here. That's their that's their tree farm. Let me just um you know, this is not the way I want to go. Let's go this way. There we go. So you have all these folks here. And I'm gonna just uh go into the um hut here. There we go. And this lady wants to trade with me. Uh, you trade enough stuff. Oh, let me just uh why why you no shake? There we go. When you sell them the supplies that they need, they will expand their village and build all kinds of cool stuff. They'll also give you money, which you can actually spend on various foods that you can take home with you. They are out of all of them at the moment, though. They've got to, uh, they've got to grow some maize, I guess. What is wah? I, I know I have a scroll, but I'll buy another scroll. So we'll see. Okay, food. Maize, maize or corn, tamales. Oh! Tamales! They're tamales! Masa and wah. Yeah, it, it's a tamale. Okay. Well, I'm gonna have to uh, come back when y'all get those going. Now, there are several different cultures that you might run across. And New World, of course, you might remember I had the Japanese village. I had a couple of Japanese villages, actually, and then a couple of just random Greek dudes running around. Oh, oh, that sheep has a hat. Oh, wow. He's going crazy. But uh, there's the Japanese, there's the Mayan, which is what I'm in here. Oh, there's a slime island right up here. There's Norman villages, and then there's just random people running around. It's kind of neat how they have their... Uh, actual language going here. Sometimes you understand it, sometimes you don't. Oh, so uh, so what Japanese? I don't I don't understand you yet. Anyway. Usumasinta. Population eleven. But yeah, eventually they will build a market. No no no, it's okay. I I'm just I'm just browsing. But they will they will build a new market and they will build uh new buildings, and they will have food and things that you can buy. They can also have various decorations and things that you can buy to pretty up your house. And finally, magic stuff and armor and weapons, which I can't buy yet because they don't know me well enough. So, that is our look at the New World Mod Pack. A little, a little blast from the past with the new version of New World. Well, this pack always is probably going to have a, a special place in my heart since it is the first FTB pack that I that I uh, let's played. But we will come back another time and see how they're doing. In the meantime, I will see you next week, folks. As always, if there is any kind of certain cuisine you would like to see me do, or since we have in fact now branched out from F uh, Horizons and Magic Farm, and we're basically doing pretty much any mod pack that has a good food mod in it. If there's a food mod you know of that I haven't covered, I've gone over Growth Craft, I've gone over Pam's Harvest Craft, uh, Magical Crops, I've done Agriculture, I've done Food Plus, um, r -r 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 -r, of course now Millionaire, if there is a special food mod that you know of and would like to see me do a show on, let me know, and I will see what I can do for you. Until then, I will see you next time. Bon appétit!